Objective accomplished. Briefing commences. Commander, it appears that the Collective may be more dangerous than we thought. Data from the Collective's base have indicated the presence of the Nexus Intruder program in their computer systems. Before Nexus switched itself offline, we accessed the following. Warriors of the Collective, I seek the location of NASDA Central. It lies somewhere in your territory. Find it for me, and I shall provide you with further weapons to aid you in your war against the Project. This is disturbing news regarding NASDA, Commander. NASDA briefing follows. NASDA is the North American Strategic Defense Agency. NASDA was formed in 2076 to defend North America from conventional and nuclear attack. Construction of a satellite defense system began in 2081 and was completed in 2082. In 2085, the NASDA satellites fired their nukes at Earth. There were also ground-based sites. Many of these were destroyed in the nuclear counter-strikes, but there's bound to be some out there. The NASDA satellites also contained pulse lasers designed to shoot down missiles approaching North America. During the counter-strikes, these LASATs failed to fire. If brought into operation, these LASATs could inflict major damage on ground targets. All nukes targeted at North America found their targets. We know that Nexus is searching for NASDA Central in the eastern sector. This was one of the land-based control centers for the satellites. If the center is found intact, Nexus may get control of the satellites. Nexus claimed that it had already destroyed the world. As I once cleansed the world with fire, I will destroy you and your puny project. We've got to make sure that it can't do it again. NASDA briefing ends. Understood. Information captured at the Collective's base indicates that an enemy commander is collecting a shipment from Nexus at this location. The transports will fly you to the LZ, eradicate the enemy commander, and recover the shipment. Then return to the LZ. Mission timer activated. This stage is one where we want as much of the timer as possible. Load up and lift off. I'm going to fade to the minimap screenshot real fast. Alright, first things first. If seeing screenshots of the stage already over is irking anyone, in just a couple stages time I'll have a technology that will allow me to get fully revealed minimaps before stepping foot out of the landing zone, so hooray! As mentioned in the briefing, the enemy commander will leave a base here, travel west to another base. Shortly after he gets there, and by shortly I mean you'll have just enough time to land a second and maybe third football, he and his attached force will head south towards the map edge. If the commander reaches the map edge, he escapes and the stage is lost. We need to stop him from doing that. The main issue is that, once he, or his inner circle of escorts, starts taking damage, he will head directly into the fortified northwestern base, get repaired, and then sit there for the remainder of the timer, flipping rude gestures and shouting, Come at me, bro. All the while, you will be getting hit by airstrikes at five minute intervals that begin just after you land and spawn at the north edge between the two enemies' bases. Unlike previous stages, though, this time there will be effective six packs of lancers. If all six planes decide to fire at the same target, and if all six planes hit all 12 rockets, that target is hosed. And that's just the Python tracks. The Python hovers will go down in about 8 hits. This leads to two main ways to handle this stage. First, the way I won't be using. After landing a force of two trucks and eight MBG units, clear out the skyscrapers and the lone defensive hardpoint here, call in a second group of all MBG tanks, have your trucks set up a couple bunkers here to attract the attention of the air units, place a sensor tower here to spot when the enemy commander is making his break, and then, right as the commander himself passes this point, slam your MBG into his force, focus firing on the commander, 
and take him down before he can either get out or turn around. Grab the artifact, run back to your LZ, and the stage is won. Using this method, you should come under a maximum of two airstrikes, so as long as you can divert both to some sacrificial bunkers, you can save yourself the agony of dealing with potent planes for one more stage. Or there's my method, the old-fashioned slog. Other than having time to research post-objective, the main reason I prefer the slog method is because it allows me to leave most of my MBG at home in a position where they can get a head start on stopping the Collective in Beta 5. The enemy's remaining threats are that the Collective have sensors and bombards scattered around the map, the northeast base will be producing a mix of heavy cannon, lancer, and bombard units that it will occasionally throw at you, and the northwest base is going to be producing... You know what? Let's not spoil that just yet. Immediately call in your artillery team when possible. We're going to want them present ASAP. Reinforcements are available. Right here is a tower with a lancer on top painted slightly more red. I got a combination of incredibly lucky and incredibly unlucky just now. On the one hand, it's nice when the enemy isn't hitting you. On the other hand, I wanted that shot to land to show something. So let me cut to a different take on this stage real fast. This is the tank killer rocket. As you can see by the chunk of damage my python tracked lancer just took, that name isn't in jest. From this point forward, the Collective will have a weapon option that poses a serious threat to our land forces. For the remainder of Beta Campaign, anytime you see a TK unit or structure, be wary of it. A single TK you can probably deal with directly, but if, either due to numbers, choke points, bottlenecks, or any other reason, there is a good chance that a single one of your units will attract more than a single volley of TK fire, then you need to at least consider changing your tactics. Artillery is a great option, or if you're into micro, moving an undamaged tank in front of the one that took the TK hit before it can fire again works. While waiting on the bombards, I'll throw up a few structures and talk a bit about the AA units I created. They aren't going to stop the enemy air power. Maybe if I were to bring in a dozen of them and get lucky, but there's a major difference between stages where the enemy air power comes from off map and the ones where the VTOLs are built in stage. For the in stage fights, any damage done to a VTOL is damage it has to repair first, and any VTOL that is shot down will need to be rebuilt before it can attack again. For off-map VTOLs, they fly in right on cue, fire, and fly off, never to be seen again. What that means is, for stages like this, if you can't kill the plane before it fires, you've stopped nothing. The reason I brought the AA in here is for a chance at experience. I will be dealing with this stage using the four lancers, the artillery team, and the massive truck force that will come in load number three, so I had a few slots in the first football load left over. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack.
structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Reinforcements landing. Structure under attack. Group two reporting. Structure under attack. Assigned to sensor. Structure under attack. 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 Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group two reporting. Structure under attack. Assigned to sensor. Unit under attack. Group two reporting. Assigned to sensor. Group two reporting. Unit under attack. Assigned to sensor. Group two reporting. Unit under attack. It's still my intention to talk about the CB tower in the latter half of Beta 5, but I will mention one of their functions right now. They will spot enemy artillery farther out than their sight range. Construction completed. Group 2 reporting. To get an idea of where the bombard pits are in this stage, I'll throw down a few CB towers as the stage progresses. Construction completed. Assigned to counter battery radar. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Group 2 reporting. Unit under attack. Assigned to counter battery radar. Group 2 reporting. Assigned to counter battery radar. Unit under attack. Group 2 reporting. Enemy escaping. While I appreciate the heads up from Christine, it kind of causes an unnecessary panic. Group 2 reporting. When it says enemy escaping, what it actually means is the enemy is starting its run to the exit from the northwest base, which still gives you a full minute to get into position. Reinforcements landing. Assigned to sensor. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group 
three reporting. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. If you are trying to beat this stage the fast way, this is your opportunity right here. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Group 3 reporting. Group 2 reporting. Assigned to sensor. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Aw, oh, so Unit close. Guess I'll have to do this stage the way I was intending to all along. Group 3 reporting. Unit under attack. Group 3 reporting. Unit under attack. Construction completed. This stage is split in half via a river. Group 3 reporting. Other than VTOLs, the enemy only has one type of hover unit, so that means the, admittedly few, land assaults will be fairly easy to predict where they will approach from. Our big advantage here is that our artillery team is on hovers, so we can set up a mobile battery anywhere on the map. Other than blundering into the enemy face first, our only real concern is that we make sure our bombards are not what we have farthest north when one of the five minute airstrikes shows up. The enemy bombard pits aren't the biggest concern to the McShooters. As long as they are set to retreat at medium, accidentally getting into their bombard range won't be that detrimental. Structure under attack. Group 3 reporting. Structure under attack. Group 2 reporting. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Assigned to sensor. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Group 3 reporting. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group 2 reporting. Assigned to sensor. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group 2 reporting. Assigned to sensor. Group 2 reporting. Assigned to sensor. Group 2 reporting. Assigned to sensor. 
Group two reporting. Assigned to sensor. Construction completed. Group three reporting. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Assigned to sensor. Group three reporting. Construction completed. Enemy base detected. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Assigned to sensor. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group three reporting. Structure under attack. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Assigned to sensor. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Assigned to sensor. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Our first target will be the northeast base. While not required for the completion of the stage, it is the weaker of the two bases, and if we remove it, we can take control of the top center of the map which will allow us to stop the airstrikes vis-a-vis -vis covering their entry points with AA. Our trucks will thank us for it using their totally automated beeps and boops. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. 
Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Group 2 reporting. Structure under attack. Group 2 reporting. Assigned to sensor. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Group 2 reporting. Group 2 reporting. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group two reporting. Group two reporting. In hindsight, using my sensor tank instead of creeping towers on the right side probably would have been a better choice, but I was so worried about forgetting the VTOL timer that I always wanted a structure out in front. Construction completed. I don't think I even remembered McSpottoms existed until the part of this video I cut at the end, poor guy. Assigned to counter battery radar. Group two reporting. Assigned to counter battery radar. Unit under attack. Group two reporting. Assigned to counter battery radar. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group 2 reporting. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Unit under attack. Assigned to counter battery radar. Construction completed. Group 
Construction completed. Unit under attack. Group two reporting. Unit under attack. Enemy base detected. Unit under attack. In the interest of expediting our map control, I'll have the Lancers attack the northeast attack. base now. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Assigned to sensor. Construction completed. Assigned to sensor. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack.
reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Group 2 reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Group 2 reporting. Construction completed. Assigned to sensor. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Enemy base eradicated. Group 2 reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group 2 reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. I can and am securing a chunk of the northern map edge now, but the next major target is these two sensors. Once they are removed, our own artillery team will have effectively free reign over the map, and our anti-VTOL northern line will have no fear of bombardment either. Under attack. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Assigned to sensor. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed.
construction completed. Group 2 reporting. Assigned to sensor. Construction completed. 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 Group two reporting. Construction completed. Assigned to counter battery radar. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Construction completed. So the spoiler I didn't give completed. away is now visible. At the X Northeast base, the enemy built a variety of units designed to attack us once they got a group large enough or felt threatened enough to counter engage. At this base, the factory is only producing one thing, hover lancers. It's been doing it since shortly after we landed, and they are all set to defend the base. Looks like they only have five, eh? Well, let me show exactly how those lancers react. I'm guessing most of you have figured this out by looking at my bunker setup, but for my mother and her corgi, here's the explanation. If you are on the crossroad, the enemy lancers won't care about you. Like, at all. The instant you go one square north of it, this happens. Under attack. Structure under attack. In your own game, you may or may not have your opponent stuck on himself like this, but there's good news. As soon as whatever you had north of that intersection falls, the entire Lancer team turns around. So as long as your truck wasn't far enough forward to catch some retreating rockets, you can drag the Lancer force out repeatedly with a single bait structure. Let's do just that, thin them out a bit, and keep them busy while I bombard their sensor towers from the east. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Assigned to sensor. Group two reporting. Assigned to sensor. Structure under attack. 
structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Group 2 reporting. Construction completed. Assigned to sensor. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. At this point, we've gotten to mop-up mode. I'll let the video run just a tad more, at least until we get to see the enemy commander pop, but so long as I don't approach within visual range of their land units, they will sit there and do nothing, until making a final desperate push once most of their base is in shambles. Construction completed. Construction completed. Assigned to sensor. Group 2 reporting. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Assigned to sensor. Group two reporting. I will start a mass recycle program though. While our power budget is much better than it was in Beta 1, what we get in Beta 5 is going to require a large Watto cache.
two reporting. Reporting. Artifact detected. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Assigned to sensor. Assigned to sensor. And there's the desperate push. Nothing left but base shelling and research, so back in a few. Return to LZ. Tech time. Weapon research completed. Weapon research completed. Weapon research completed. The pull from this stage was three different accuracy improving techs, Lancer, AA, and Mortar. Don't get me wrong, accuracy is important, and the Mortars are certainly going to get some use out of it, but given the urgency that Christine wanted this tech recovered, I was expecting something a little more substantial. Thankfully, Beta 5 will fix that. We get more tech in Beta 5 than we did get through most of the Alpha campaign combined. Group 2 reporting. Assigned to sensor. Return to LZ. So for now, let's blow this popsicle stand and go home. Enemy base. Objective accomplished.